What up nerds, this is going to be a video covering scene organization and scene communication. Now this is a question that pops up fairly frequently in the community, so I figured I'd go ahead and cover it. If you look here, you can see that I have a pretty small project opened. I have my world scene, and then I, inside of that I have a player scene and an object thing scene, both instanced. Now the goal is to have some code execute in this object thing scene based on something that happens in this player scene. Now, the most straightforward and brute force and uh, approach that I see people make is to use get parent calls. So they try and have inside of the player script it to walk up the tree using get parent and then it uses get node to walk back down the tree to get a direct object reference uh, inside of this script. And that can create brittle code because the scene structure may change and when the scene structure changes it'll break that reference now that isn't that big of a deal when you have a handful of uh, references but as you get further in development it creates uh, much more of a headache trying to fix all of those locations when things change so the way we can kind of work around this is by relying on signals. Now in the player script, I have a custom signal. Now, when I press the Q key, it emits that signal and it sends out this message. In the object thing script, I have this function that when it receives a message, all it does is print it to the output. Now you can kind of picture this method to be something a bit more useful such as incrementing a kill counter or decrementing how many lives you have left on the UI, you know, whatever it is that you uh, want. So now that we have these uh, set up and instanced, what we can do is use the user interfaces signal manager. Now we just go over to the signals, double click on the signal that we want to connect, go to the object that we want to connect to, and then down here, name the method that we already have previously created. And that works fine. Now, the if you don't want to do that, you or you're trying to instance things at runtime, times, you, you can do, also do it through scripts. So we want to have a parent node actually manage that kind of connection. So we go ahead and add a script to the common parent node. And in there, we just go ahead and connect that signal. Uh, second argument being the node that has the method that we want to run. And that works. Uh, it's not as uh, good as doing it through UI if you have static uh, references, you know, things that aren't instanced at runtime, because if this gets a new scene structure, then you have to come into the world script and update this node path. But, you know, it's it's still better than trying to walk the tree from the player scene. Now, one of the goals for designing a scene is that this scene, such as this player scene, should be entirely self-contained. It should be isolated. It should not have any external dependencies as much as possible. I should be able to come into the scene. I should be able to just click this play scene button and it should work. That won't always be the case. Um, but that is the goal to strive for. And in order to do that, what we do is we have the root node manage the scene state. Now, what I mean by that is if you are getting a reference to another scene, you should only be talking to that scene's root node. You shouldn't get a reference to that scene's root node and then do a get node call on that. That creates a problem because you don't know all the places that are going to be doing that when your development gets bigger, like the further along you get into your game. So let every scene manage its own state as much as possible. And when you're doing 
node communication, the general guiding principle is to signal up and get node down. What I mean by that is parents should use get node in order to pass information down the scene tree. So going down the scene tree, we want to use get node. But if we're trying to go up the scene tree, we want to use signals. We want to try and stay away from get parent calls as much as possible. Uh, again, this is just a guiding principle. Uh, it, it's not like you're doing something super, super, super bad if you uh, do it every here and there. It's just a guiding principle to help create a better scene structure and more reusable scenes. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will help as much as possible. Again, I want to stress the slogan really is to signal up, get node down. Thank you and have a wonderful day.